What is going on, everyone? We are back with another music reaction on Depraved. I'm Hellcat. Because we are... Hello, Depraved. Yes, we are. And excited. And very excited. It's Blackbriar. I'm always excited about Blackbriar. And Cicada. Those really pretty but obnoxious bugs. Oh, so obnoxious. They scream. And we get a lot of them here. We got a lot of them in New Mexico, too. Yeah. Um... And of course, they come out in droves, like, what is it, like every 12 to 17 years or some shit like that. That's honestly more like Jeepers Creepers and... No, but they do. It's They're... like 10, I think. Is it 10? I think it's 10, but yeah. It's not wrong. And kinda Jeepers creepy. Creepers is 27. Um, right. Right. Just kind of creepy. But yeah. Every so many years, it's like their big old mating party in the middle of everyone's bullshit. And, and they scream. And they scream in unison. Yeah. I mean, I think they probably have the right way of the world. They wake up screaming every ten years. Right. Yeah. Okay. To mate. To mate. Should be said. Okay. Anyways, super excited uh, to see what the song's actually about. <laughs> what Blackfriar makes it about. Yep. Let's get it. Yeah, he went right into it. She was like, okay, course over. Let's go. Right? Turn me into a cicada so I can finish your song. I don't know how I would feel about that. Yeah. Song about death. Well, she is meeting the horseman at the crossroads. And he's in a reaper robe. So, you know. She believes she's going to be a bug in the next life? Yeah, that's that's kind of where I was like, I'm not sure about that. Like getting turned into a cicada, specifically. <laughs> like I mean, pretty a wings, bird, maybe. pretty wings, but you know, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I just, hmm. I don't know if I want to spend the rest of my life jumping really far distances, thinking it's flying. Well, <laughs> fair point. Fair point. They kind of flutter about and scream. Scream. I mean, she is romanticizing their screaming. <laughs> They're singing. Isn't there's the same we get album it, that there's, song there's... about a siren. <laughs> Is there something like you know? <laughs> no, I mean like always, always. But you no, know. No I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, her voice is beautiful as always. By the way, as always. Oh, I love the uh, visuals as well. It's it's just I'm personally not sure about being turned into a cicada. Right. That's about all that that amounts to. Yeah bird food or you know fodder for women to make jewelry out of people use their wings a lot right but i wouldn't mind being turned into a giant praying mantis like the one we had a year and a half ago that was like this big and that's not even an exaggeration this fucker was huge that is an exaggeration however it was not <laughs> She, she was. It's a, it was almost as big as your head. <laughs> yeah, but I've got the picture. Long ways. I've got the picture next to my head. My yeah. head is not that big. Thank you mm. very much. It's my mm. forehead that makes up for the... Mm. No, um, but anyway. I I don't know that you as a male would want to be turned into a praying mantis. That's also true. 
you know, that's probably a thought you should have before, you know, telling a horseman of the crossroads that specific wish. Unless I think in English. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> right? Going to sleep. Huh? Going into her decade sleep. Well, I mean, like, I think you can do far worse than to have the love of someone like Zora who seems to romanticize beyond death. Um, that's loyalty right there. I've been to a field of bluebells like that. Have you? Epically gorgeous. I, uh... Jump. I should say woodland of bluebells, but you know. I guess I, I'm curious if there is a more lore-driven thing about cicadas that I don't know. There is, and I forget what it is. I mean, she's saying that she can hear the bluebells ring, and I'm pretty sure that that's a fairy thing. Um, and it is some lore that I have read at some point, including like... the cicadas, and for some reason... When I finish Humanity. My brain is stalling. Right, right. Uh, um, normally, I can pull this stuff up right away, guys. I apologize. This one is just a little outside of, I guess, what I've read a million times. Um, I, I, I guess, yeah. for me, like I, it, it, I would love to be a cicada just to annoy human beings for the, hmm. at least one summer. I mean, I think it's funny that she said that, you know, you might just hear a hum if you're not really listening. And I was like, girl, only if there's one. Because yeah. if there's more than one, it is not. It's a drone. Yeah. Yeah. It's very loud. Mm -hmm. uh, 
It's it's one of those things I'm used to again because yeah, we you get can them zone out it out after a while. But when they first start going, you're like, oh, and they're back, right? And then of course, you know, some of them end up in your house, in your house, on your car. It's kind of like crickets. Like I like the sound of crickets when I'm outside and it's nice, but, moist spring. But, I, but when they're in your house, but I don't like the sound of crickets when I'm inside. There's a big difference because it's always one. And you can never find him. <laughs> yeah, I've had more than one because I've also kept lizards. And there's always more than one. Because there's at least one that has escaped into the confines of your house that you can never find. And then there's at least one, maybe two, that have been let free in the cage that are hiding in a log or a tree or something. And the lizard's just not doing its job. Right. But, again... I love opening the door to let in fresh air and having the sound of crickets and stuff like that as long as they're not inside. Same with cicadas. To a point. I prefer crickets. Far prefer crickets. They're not as loud. Eh, they've also got a little bit more musicality to them as far as I'm concerned. Right. Um, this was lovely, like always, although I don't suggest that most people stand at the crossroads and try and make deals with strange horsemen. Right. Especially ones that are driving a black coach, which is often associated with, uh, you know, like the fairy queen and operating on its own and, you know, death to mortals. Although I suppose if she was ending her human span, she wouldn't have been as concerned. Right. But, yes, lovely as always, as always. Always. All right, so if you guys liked the video, slash the like button. If you didn't, don't. We don't care. We just hope we made your day a wee bit better. <laughs> and we love you guys. We'll see you next time. <gasps> Bye-bye.